if you receive any contamination of the water, if the contamination of soil or the water starts, uh, which is imminent, um, we are going to make available to you the technology to disseminate, which means to clean the water out, that the water does not get infected. The way to do it is very simple. If you have got uh, copper wires or any wires or any material, try to produce cans of it. Or try to produce nanomaterials on these and place them in the drinking water prior to use. Let the gans settle to the bottom. The top is more or less 90% clean for consumption. So, if you can nano, even your even your pen, uh, which you have created, the pen, uh, pen, pen. You can put these in the water. Put two or three of them in the water, and you should see the same effect. If you produce gans from it, to use the gans to um, eradicate all the germs, they go to the bottom. You only drink the top. When you take the top water from the top of the gans put another new Gans in it, which has cost nothing for you to do, and then you'll find out you have a pure water. This is how we did the decontamination in Fukushima. Brilliant, so thank you. You have everything you need. One of the ways to do it, when you burn ashes, when you burn wood, wood itself is a nanomaterial ash. Mix it with salt water, yeah? And then it mm -hmm. gives you a state of Gans. And then you can use the residue, what you see, as cleaning material to clean water. You just pass the water through it. It becomes a nano layer. You just pour it in, it cleans up. Right. The, the, the water. It, Pardon? The, the locals here often make their own coal, charcoal. So yeah. there's, there's, we quite often in the countryside we see these pits that are smoldering, and that's all. That's hardwood. So the hardwood they're burning is then uh, we, we we're left with the ash. I listened to what you spoke of about lying down into the ashes too. That's interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, but try to use these ashes. Mix it with the heavy salt water, even from the sea, and let the water to settle. Yeah. With, yeah. Uh, and repeat the process okay. again, you'll find out the salt water with the ash will create a specific Gans power. Let it settle. Do it for the second time, but next time, do not use the sea salt. Whatever you take from top of the ash, the water, mix it with the ash, with, it, with that water. That water should be about 90% free of any contamination. If you have any nano-coated copper, you can get any wires just in the in the fire you're build, building to make the ash. Put those wires in the water. You'll find out you get 100% more or less decontaminated water to drink. So, follow the procedure. Get the ash, mix it with the salt water from the sea. Take the water from the top, which is uh, um, left above the sediment and mix it with some more new ash. Put a copper wire, nano-coated copper wires inside it, and let it to settle. Get it tested. It should be 90 to 100% free of any contamination. If you have a copper, which can literally, by heating nano-coated while you're making the ash, this will create in the first process the gans of copper, which is a total disinfectant material. So, you can use it in the second process. It costs you nothing, you have everything on your hand to decontaminate. 